Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a flip through of my August um, setup and month and my Hobonichi weeks. So I am using this Amazon basic. It's not really a cover. It's initially, I think, supposed to be for like passports, but it fits perfectly with this. Um, and I do need to clean it out. So that is something that I'll be doing. I thought these were so cute. I did a haul on this when I got this for like 99 cent at Hobby Lobby. Uh, which is also one of the things that I'm asking for for Christmas. I think it's like a Hobby Lobby gift card. So this is my Hobonichi Weeks. Um, make sure you're subscribed. So you'll be able to check out my video that I am probably going to do this week this weekend um, about like what I want to or what I plan to use going into 2025 in terms of planners. But let's get into this. Um, so nothing has pretty much changed from when I first, first set it up. Um, all the stickers are pretty much there. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time like using these. I think I'm gonna save it for next year's cover and put this in that way um it'll be for the whole year i started this late as so if anybody is just now watching me then you'll know that i started i, I got this hobonichi like mid-year so like these earlier months i didn't use i thought i was gonna go back and um, like put some pictures or stuff like that, but I didn't. I started it in July. Um, also, uh, I'm trying to keep like the months as functional as possible. So if I decorate, it's very minimal. And then whatever decorations I choose to do at the end of the month, once I have finished using, you know, the month up. And so I've been trying to put again, like really, really important things on this planner as well as my other like main planner then you'll see um that i'm putting like dates and payment dates and things of that sort this planner i realize is not a planner planner like that like i'm not taking it with me um i st initially started off using it as a planner but it is very small so this has pretty much turned into my like self-care health type of planner um which i'm totally okay with so i have this down very minimal again and then let's go into august okay so this is august i was still i started it in july so i was still trying to like feel my way out with some things and and just how i wanted things to be so um on these layouts like one side was appointments and the other side was like things that i was actually doing as you see i work quite a bit so in terms of like getting certain things done they were pretty much on the days that i had off so you'll see like empty space until like this month uh, September, I started use, utilizing it a little bit differently. But as far as like appointments, that's what I have. I'll pretty much always have trackers, especially since I'm trying to use up uh, one of my sticker packs. And let me see if I can grab it. So obviously this is a chatty video as always. Um, this is the Park Lane. And I, I really like this because my favorite color is black. I pretty much wear black, gray, and neutral colors all the time. So being able to finish this out would be really nice for me. Um, and it's just a lot of good, nice, functional stickers. It's just where to throw them in it and how they fit is the problem. So that is one that I'm trying to use and get rid of. And that's where you'll see like some of these stickers that came from that and me just really trying to utilize them 
I always use a weekly task list that I create of things that I need to do during the week. And if I don't have it in here, I have it in like my everything sort of notebook that I have that I pre pretty much put everything in. Okay, let me, I'm just trying to get a little closer. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I didn't get a lot, a lot of things done. And it's important for me to try to see how productive I am during the week. So that was the first week. This is the second. Um, some things that I really want to pop out or stick out for me, I'll use these little post-its so that way it kind of comes up and I know that that's really important to do. In terms of like decorating, this one is minimal. This one is from Pipstick's old, old um, stickers that I've had for a while when I was subscribed but didn't want it to like go to waste. So I've just been trying to use those. Again, you'll see like the times, the dates that I wasn't really working because then that's when you'll see like activities done. And still struggling. And what I try to do when I go back, even when I go back with myself to do like a monthly review and I go through each week, I'll see what it is that the tasks that weren't done. And I'll see a pattern. Most times I'll see a pattern. And a lot of it is like, um, washing my makeup brushes because I don't use that much makeup. So it's typically only like two or three brushes and it's all related to the eyes that I need to make sure that I wash that. And I think because it's so small amount, I fail to do it. Um, um, another one is budgeting because it's a struggle for me to budget and I really think I need to be doing it daily in order for me to get in the habit. That's another thing that kind of falls by the wayside. Um, so yeah, then the next week from the 19th through the 25th, I really like this decorations. I kept it super minimal. I pretty much only did the borders. I did try to do a different layout, which I felt really worked for me because it had all the areas that I really need. Now, if you see like this layout, um, that I did for here with things that were important to do, appointments that I had, bills due, and meals. When you, if you've seen my other videos, definitely go check it out. But if you look at my other planner, my French planner, it is a page that they already designated for that where you could put appointments, to do's, goals, and things of that sort. So that was a, a really good factor for me because I was still able to get it. And repetition in two different places is important to me. Um, and it's because I don't consistently look at my planner. I know some people look at their planner every day. What I do look at every day is my phone. So the Hobonichi, I don't necessarily touch every day. I should only because it's more so related to my health and self-care now. But the Fringe Planner... Um, and my other ones that I was using before then, I didn't necessarily touch it every day. Um, so I want to get in the habit of doing that. I'll do another video, uh, maybe next week, um, showing you guys how I plan on getting organized and why it's so important now at this point. Um, so as you can see, I did cross some things out. So right here, this this section actually had two bills that would do and a shopping list of where I needed to shop from. I started filling in a lot more over here for a lot of different reasons to utilize my stickers, but also to kind of really take account of what I was doing. Um, so that is that. I, I just love being able to see everything. And the last week is it was the last week again the days that I don't go to work I'm, I'm like always doing something so if you look at Thursday you'll see um the little envelope here saying that I went to the mailbox I did some grocery shopping garbage takeout uh washing reading so yeah um and then on Friday busy um 
but I feel busy. I worked overnight. Coffee before talkie. So tired and no rest. <laughs> and this on Sunday, I made, I had tried a new fall dish. So I put that down and I was excited because I finally got a chance to use that particular sticker that was from my um, meal book for Agenda 52 because it says try a new recipe. And here I tried to break up the same thing like putting the errands, my weekly goals, things that I shouldn't forget. And because this was the last of the month, I didn't do it here. No, I don't think I did. I didn't. I didn't do it here, but what I'm going to do for October, actually, as soon as I get off the phone, off the phone, <laughs> as soon as I finish this video, I'm filming on my phone, as you can tell, I'm going to put that here. At the end of the month, I wanted to put like, not a review, well, yeah, kind of like a review, but because I want to be, you know, aware of my finances, I have put what was in my emergency fund, my Christmas fund, sinking funds, and birthday. So birthday, I do have, I'll be using that soon, so that will empty, I think I'm at like 450 now, and I didn't, I had to go look it up, that's why I was blank. The emergency seems very low, however, right now I'm trying to work out, and I really need to hurry up and do it because we started a new month. Um, but I really need to work out where I'm putting my finances where. Um, and if you struggle with budgeting, then you probably know what I mean. But I have a $1,000 emergency fund over that. But I don't particularly know what to use for what because I've been so all over the place with it. So I want to designate a specific one account, one place for emergency and let that be that. I think with emergency, I struggled so much with what was in a bank because I do have a high yield savings that's in and it's over a thousand, but I really didn't know if I wanted that exactly to be my emergency fund because I'm still learning a lot about um just financial things so I didn't know like say I did have emergency and I went to take it out am I penalized because of what it's in um with having like CD account I, it's a lot that I need to learn Christmas um that is taken out in my check and I was debating whether or not I wanted to up that um I think that I may because I'll be doing more changes and what my job takes out so that I need to look at my sinking fund is something I started where instead of having this that then the other like one whole sinking fund for now at least until I have more finances more money to spread around or however um that is what I'm gonna have um, I will be doing another video on just how I want to break up my sinking fund so stay tuned for that too um, and I talked about the birthday, so I can't put the birthday in because then it's like four fifty, and that is off of my saving book, so you can only go up to a certain amount. But I think I'm gonna change the number of what each little present thing to check off at is. So I'll redo that. And those are my errands. And I typically have the same errands every week. Mailbox, grocery store, Dollar Tree. Because I get specific weekly things from the Dollar Tree. And that is it for the rest of this month. Uh, so this is, that was August. As you can see, if we look back into the August gratitude, I did miss a few days. But other than that. You know, um, it was it was that. I think the the first will always be like my new beginnings. I like the start of the beginning of the month. I feel like fresh, like all is forgiven from last month. Um, a lot of what you'll see throughout here too is like my mom, like times that I got to spend with my mama and um, just different things. I like to see gratitude. Definitely going back, like, 
through different months and saying like, okay, this is the reason why, you know, this is what I need to be grateful for when I have those moments where I'm down. I do need to still fill in these books. And let's see what was, what else was for August? Oh my goodness, I didn't finish the August highlights and I need to because I got a real, I got, yeah, I need to fill that in because my daughter has surgery, school started, that's my son. I went to Top Golf for the first time for my friend's birthday celebration and I got a employee of the year award recognition at my job, which ended up being pretty huge. I'm new to the company, so I didn't know how huge it was. And I wanted to put that picture in. So I need to go back and print some pictures. And maybe I need to put that. Print pics for August highlights. And this book is so important because you go back. And this because this house is a whole year, it's, I'll be able to look back and see what checklist did I do? What was I doing to be able to continue? This didn't, I, I didn't keep up with this. I did it again for uh, October. I think I did it for September too, but I did it again for October. And I think if I do it on a weekly basis, then it's easier. So like yesterday I had time last night. So I just went ahead and filled in from the first to the third. And hopefully I just keep going with that. My August goals, let's see. I don't know how to check off prayer and scripture. I guess I will look at if I at least did half of the month, then I'll check it off. I did not do half of the month. I was stuck on a couple of scriptures for a couple of weeks, which was good in a sense because I was really meditating on it. But yeah, I didn't meet the goal. Um, saving a hundred, I did it last month, not that one, not in August. I didn't read the three books. I didn't meet the whole four solid a month goal. I only had two and I marked it down. Um, exercise, I didn't, no spend days, I didn't. So it, yeah, a lot of this I didn't do. <laughs> so hopefully going forward, you know, I do better. We can only pray. <laughs> but yeah, that is all for now. I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.